This episode of Soldier Knows Best is brought to you by Jack Threads. Hey, what's up guys? Soldier Knows Best here. I finally got Mountain Lion downloaded onto my MacBook Pro Retina. Here, I'm still in Australia and I had to do it over the uh, hotel internet. If you follow me on Twitter, you know, I'll just it just took so long, but I finally got a chance to play with it for a few days now. So in this video, I'm just going to be showing you some of the main features of this thing and actually just give my overall opinion about whether or not you should upgrade to Mountain Lion. So first, it's going to jump into the Notification Center, which I think is probably one of the biggest additions that I've been using the most. And you can activate this just by hitting this little, uh, in the top right-hand corner, this little notification center icon there or you can swipe with two fingers from um, the right side of the trackpad to the left just like so you can't see my hands but I am doing that and it'll go ahead and activate the notification center now here I have my mail um, coming through here and also too I do have my Twitter I'm um, coming through here so if anybody that I follow tweets me or if I get any DM it will show up right here if I click that it'll open up twitter.com and take me there same thing with the mail if I click it it'll go ahead and open up the mail application here on my Mac and I go ahead and start you know doing whatever that I wanted to now also you do have a little button here that says click to tweet so if I want to just tweet something something comes up to my head I don't need to open up the Twitter app don't need to go to twitter.com and just hit this tweet button and go ahead and start typing whatever add a picture add my location whatever and then hit send if I want to do that now one thing that it is missing throughout this whole mountain line update that Apple did talk about in the press conference is the Facebook integration which is going to be coming in the fall and it's going to give you basically the same things as with Twitter uh, it's going to add the little Facebook button on different places where you can share different things like that but that's coming in the fall so anyway that is the notification center I'm gonna go ahead and close that out now going up to the reminders application which is some one of the new things here in Mac OS 10 mountain line uh, it's basically just like my uh, the, the reminders uh, uh, application on your iOS devices and everything syncs in the cloud so this is all these all these reminders I actually set up on my iPhone but it's synced up on my Macs and it's basically just, just it works just like the iOS app if I wanted to get rid of something I can go ahead and check that off and say boom I already did that reminder and also too, you can set up a new one you can look at reminders that how they show up in your calendar if you wanted to uh, and also too, you can view your completed reminders and of course you can add and start a new reminder if you wanted to so that is the new reminders app I just like how, to, how everything just syncs over via iCloud. Um, next up I'm going to show you the notes application uh, which again is one of those same apps that it syncs uh, through iCloud and everything like that just like your iOS uh, versions there. But also I'm, uh, this is a good opportunity for me to show you off the new dictation that's in Mac OS 10 Mountain Line. Basically you can go ahead and talk to your computer and it'll type the text. Now this actually does send your, your voice over to Apple servers and they, they do their magic and then it sends it back to you just like Siri. So if you are concerned about that you may not want to be doing that but I think it's pretty safe. And so you can activate dictation anywhere you can type. So if you end up browser you're in Microsoft Word you're in notes application all you need to do is hit the function button twice and go ahead and start talking so I'm gonna give you a quick example print out airline tickets for my flight on Wednesday back to the States period hit done it works and boom it did everything perfectly print out airline tickets for my flight on Wednesday back to the States period and so I found that I've just been using the dictation I've been using it a lot because it is very accurate it's very spot-on it's one of the most useful features here in Mountain Lion I right, now is going to show you the messages application real quick and it's basically combines iMessage and iChat all together you can initiate video chats or just regular text chats if you wanted to with one of your friends or your buddies and so I have one of my friends is online right now I can be like hey what's up send that boom and now we can go ahead and start talking back and forth um, just like normal and again you see the little video icon has popped up there if I want to go ahead and initiate a video call so that's the messages application and that's going to take a look at game center which is going to be your really your Xbox live for your 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 Mac and your iOS all together in one so if you ever use this on iOS it's basically pretty much the same thing you can look at your friends you can see what games they're playing see how they're doing you can kind of match their scores you can go ahead and initiate a game with them if you wanted to then of course you can look at your own personal games and now this does have the uh, included OS 10 games that are compatible uh, with games that are this they will show up here I don't have any of my computer right here at the moment um, then basically that's it so you can initiate games you can also do voice chat and things like that inside of games I'm using game sensor so basically still Xbox Live for your Mac now as you can see I just got a little message back from my friend that I just messaged earlier I'm going to click on that it'll go ahead and open up the messages application and now we can go ahead and start talking um, just like normal so that is very useful I mean it's something that you never thought about using that notification center but once you do have it, it's kind of like why haven't they done this earlier so I really do like the pop-up messages there all right, so I'm going to go ahead and minimize these and I'm going to open up system preferences actually and just going to go ahead and show you a couple quick things in here. It does have this new notification button. Now you can go ahead and change the different settings for notifications uh, for all the different apps and different uh, mail and all the different stuff that shows up there now. And uh, then also too, I'm going to show you the energy saver because one of the new features in Mount Lion is power nap which allows you to put your computer to sleep you can close your lid put your computer to sleep uh, but it will periodically just go ahead and wake yourself up just slightly to go and check for new mail new calendar alerts or new other 
um, iCloud updates as well. Then it'll go back fully to sleep. So again, once you uh, open up your computer the next time, maybe two hours later, you're not going to be fully behind. You'll still be as up to date as you can um, because of this new power nap feature. I need to go ahead and enable that myself. All right, so it's going to close this out and open up Safari, which has became my number one browser again, just because of little subtle changes that they've made to it. One just add they finally combined the search box and also the address bar all into one, just like Google Chrome and other browsers have been doing for a very long time. They finally done that, so I can go ahead and start a Google search just by typing something in here. It'll open up Google, or I can just type in a URL now. So that's just something I've been waiting for for a very long time in Safari. Also, too, I do love the new tab interface. I can actually just kind of pinch in and scroll through the different tabs if I wanted to, um, just like so. It also does have a little button here um, over the well. I'm activated it now, but it does have a little button right here to activate the tabs if you wanted to. Um, and also, too, I love the the fact that now this unified share button that's throughout the entire OS. I'm just going to show you um, it here in Safari, uh, where now you can go ahead and, and kind of share almost anything from a document or a note um, or a web page, anything like that, to your Twitter, to a message, or you can email it. You can add it as a bookmark. And also another new feature in Safari is iCloud Tab. So all of your different devices, like your iPhone, your iPad, or another Mac that, that is running iCloud, you can now view all those different tabs um, in this one Safari browser. So if I click this, this is showing my two tabs that I have open on my iPhone. So I currently have a YouTube uh, web page and also an MMA fighting web page open up. And now I can choose to go ahead and click this if I wanted to. And now it will open up those pages that I've been looking at on my iPhone. That does go to the mobile version, which kind of sucks. It should automatically change it to the desktop version. But anyway, that's one minor thing hopefully that they will fix. So anyway, guys, it's just a quick little walkthrough through Mount Line. I know I didn't cover every single feature, but these are just some of the main features that I've been I'm looking at in my few days of using this. But before we head out of here, guys, we're going to take one let's look at our sponsor for this video. And today's sponsor is jackthreads.com, which is a great place to get some cool clothes to help you keep cool and look cool in the summertime. And I've said cool so many times already. You are cool. How about that? Everybody's cool who's watching this video. But anyway, Jack Dress is a good place to get some new shirts, new jeans, um, accessories, and also to carry name brands like Kid Robot, Stuzy, and Hurley as well. And this is an invite-only club. So in order to get in, you got to go to jackthreads.com forward slash SKB for all my Soldier Knows Best viewers out there, which is you. And you can get up to 80% off on most of these, these clothes out here as far as the regular pricing that you may find in the store that you may walk into so that's not a bad deal at all again go to jackdress.com forward slash skb the link is down below all right, guys, again, thanks for watching this video. Please leave a comment down below what you think about my online. I do think this is a solid update that I think every Mac user should get. It's only about 20 bucks, so that's not a bad deal at all. It does make your system overall faster. I did experience my system does feel a little bit fresher, even though this is a new, newer computer. Uh, I do feel that it did make my system better, and uh, all these little different features do make your experience overall better. Like I said better like three times there, but it does work. Anyway, guys, leave a comment down below what you think about my online, and I'll be heading back to the States here in a day or so, so I'll be getting my videos back to normal, and I can't wait to get back home. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will catch you later. Peace.